Welcome to an overview demonstration of the Enterprise IQ Finite Scheduling from IQMS. Today, we will see how the Enterprise IQ system can update in real time from events occurring throughout the supply chain as well as within the manufacturing software and ERP software system. Enterprise IQ is born on the shop floor and has been designed from the outset to specifically meet the needs of the manufacturing industry and the dynamic fast-paced environment. It is important to be able to quickly move jobs around, minimize setups and changeovers, and produce goods on the most efficient machinery, all in order to meet the customer's delivery dates. Scheduling in Enterprise IQ goes beyond just production scheduling by synthesizing data from the shop floor with the schedule to analyze efficiencies, material requirements, and inventory availability in real time. In this video, you will see how the scheduling module is designed to help you get the most out of your equipment while still allowing an agile scheduling environment. The scheduling module in Enterprise IQ has two views. The first is an individual work center view. Here, you will see the name of the work center up on the top left and all the jobs scheduled to run in that work center in the middle of the screen. Each job is color coded to indicate the status of that job or, like in this particular machine's case, scheduled maintenance downtime. You will see in the top right a legend indicating what the different colors mean. In the middle of the screen, users can see all of the work orders and all other corresponding information, such as the work order number, the manufacturing number, and tooling information. Users can easily move jobs on and off the schedule by using the speed buttons at the top of the window that are consistent with the visual language of the software. Red X to remove a work order, green plus to add a work order to the schedule, and the arrow to move a job from one machine or work center to the next. When adding jobs to the schedule, users will see a list of all the unscheduled work orders that can be run on this particular work center. All of the same information from the schedule is available here, like the work order, manufacturing number, item number, and the must start date. And from here, adding jobs to the schedule is as easy as dragging and dropping into the desired positions. As jobs are brought onto the schedule, they are automatically color-coded to indicate the status, and if the status of any other jobs changed because of the newly added, users will see their colors change as well. If a particular work order is made to order, users will see the original customer demand linked directly to that job on the bottom of the screen. And if needed, with a quick right click, users can navigate to those original sources of demand. Even the master production schedule for each item is available, illustrating weekly supply and demand, available to promise, and current running balance. The other view in the Enterprise IQ Scheduling Module allows users all work centers in one comprehensive view. The toggle for that is up here in the top left. In a whiteboard type of format, this displays all of the work centers and all of the jobs scheduled on those work centers, complete with the same color coding mentioned earlier. Users can change how they want to see the schedule appear with the drop-down boxes, the time frame they are looking at, and the captions on the particular jobs themselves. So, if a user wanted to see a work order instead of an item number, it's as easy as selecting those captions and updating the schedule to show those captions instead. In this layout, if a user needs to move jobs on a particular work center, or maybe even to a new one, the same drag and drop functionality applies. Notice on the left hand side, four of the centers for this job are highlighted in white. These are the work centers that are qualified to run this job. To their right are the efficiencies recorded from past production runs from this job on these four work centers. In this case, the work center number 4 has the highest efficiency at 201%, whereas work center 1 has only an 83% efficiency. To move this job to work center 4, all a user would need to do is drag it to that work center and the schedule will be updated automatically. Many IQMS customers also utilize the Auto Load functionality. Auto Load will populate the schedule, putting work orders onto the machines where they are run most efficiently and can best meet the delivery dates, along with a number of other parameters that is set by the user for how they would like the schedule to be automatically populated. At any point in time after making changes, a user may restore the schedule to its last backup, allowing for a what-if type analysis in the scheduling environment. 
As the schedule is updated, it is automatically pushed out to the real-time tables on the shop floor for operators to be notified of any changes. Users can also print the schedule for each individual work center or for all of them at once and deliver those to the shop floor for use. From the scheduling module, users also have access to analyze things like capacities for machinery and labor. They can also set any other requirements for the schedule, such as purchased material needs, staging needs, and so on. Enterprise IQ provides robust manufacturing scheduling and planning software that goes beyond just production scheduling. It incorporates all requirements and delivery demands to determine an optimal schedule that helps organizations save time and money. Thank you for taking the time to watch this overview of IQMS Finite Scheduling. If you would like more information on the products and services from IQMS, please visit IQMS.com.